Chapter 1. I want to make love to you. In the dimly lit room, the air was thick with anticipation. She closed her eyes, and in the darkness behind her lids, she could feel him drawing near. His presence was like a warm embrace, even before his arms encircled her. The emotions she thought she had buried deep within stirred to life, a whirlwind of longing and desire that sent a shiver down her spine. He held her close, his strong arms a promise of the ecstasy to come. She could feel her heart racing, her breaths coming in shallow gasps as the intensity of his gaze, even with her eyes closed, seemed to pierce her very soul. The world around them faded away, leaving only the two of them in a cocoon of passion and longing. As they moved together, the heat between them grew, a fire stoked by the gentle caress of his hands and the fervent press of his lips. She could feel the knots of tension in her stomach, a sweet anticipation that built with each touch, each whispered word of love and desire. The pleasure that had been a distant memory, a dream half forgotten, now surged within her, a tide that threatened to sweep her away. She clung to him, her voice a chorus of sighs and cries, a melody of ecstasy that filled the room. He whispered her name, a benediction, a promise of the love that bound them together. In that moment, she was willing to surrender everything, to fly on the wings of this passion, to let the emotions carry her to a place where only they existed. As the night deepened, their love became a dance, a symphony of sighs and caresses, of tears shed in joy and the sheer overwhelming force of their connection. They were two souls entwined, lost in the beauty of their shared passion, willing to die to this love, to be reborn in its fire. And when at last they lay spent, wrapped in each other's arms, the world seemed a different place. The love they had made was a testament to the power of their connection, a love so real, so profound, that it transcended the physical, touching the very essence of their beings. In the quiet aftermath, with the echoes of their passion still lingering in the air, they knew that this was more than a mere encounter. It was a declaration, a vow to love each other with every fiber of their beings, to make love not just with their bodies, but with their hearts, their souls, until the end of time. Tears caught in a heart, make you sigh, 